We are here today at the Western Resort in Punta Cana. We booked this pretty last minute on Chase Sapphire Rewards Points and it was a great deal. We're super excited to tell you all about our stay, what we love, and of course everything we love about this area here in the Dominican Republic. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm Marin. And we're Voyager Group. We post weekly videos with travel tips, hotel reviews, and videos from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Before we get started with the review, one thing we do want to touch on is we are actually here during a pretty unique time. If you watch some of our other videos, we're actually down in the Dominican Republic. We've been here for a couple months and it's the summer of 2020. So yes, it is COVID and there are a lot of things that our hotels are doing that are very unique for this particular time in order to make guests feel safe. In particular, this hotel being a Westin is owned by the Marriott Group. They have passed a lot of different rules for their properties. And so there's a lot of interesting things that they're doing specifically for COVID. We'll talk about most of those at the end of this video. Also do something which we're doing new for videos that we're recording right now, which is doing a COVID rating. We'll save that for the end. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, let's jump right into our hotel review. Our first category is location. Location we rate five stars. The Westin is located inside something called the Punta Cana Resort Complex. It's literally right next to the airport and if you're one of the lucky ones who flies through a private jet, it's actually inside this complex. Yeah, it's actually kind of crazy. When you get out of the Punta Cana Airport, there's a roundabout just as you pull out. You go around the roundabout and basically the entrance to this gated community is directly on the other side. So. It's about as close as you could possibly get to any airport anywhere. And so for that reason, we find that it's a super convenient location. It's located inside the Punta Cana Resort Complex with a number of other hotels, residences, and other things. And because of this, we actually are, have a huge advantage over the Sargassum seaweed that does take over this area. There's a gigantic floating barrier surrounding all of the complex, so it keeps a lot of that seaweed out, which I cannot say for a lot of the other resorts in the area. Now, what we will say about the Punta Cana area, if you have watched some of our other videos, there are a few of these gated communities. The other major one is Cop Cana. A number of our other resorts, which you can check up here in the top corner we've linked, are in the Cop Cana area. Similar to that, they also have managed to unify together as a community and be able to keep out that sargassum seaweed, at least significantly more than some of the areas that are outside of any of those communities. And so it is definitely something to consider if you're booking a trip down here, what area you're gonna be in and being part of one of those gated communities is actually really important. Yeah, and you get the white sand beaches, the beautiful flat water, it's absolutely a dream. One of the things a lot of people don't realize about the Dominican Republic is how diverse it is. And down here in Punta Cana, they have those perfect white sand beaches, just like you'd find in the Maldives or Virgin Gordo with that insanely blue water. It is really, truly picturesque. And it's exactly what a lot of people are looking for when they're looking to book these types of tropical vacations. Our second category is lobby and check-in. Lobby and check-in we rate four stars. The Westin is a beachfront hotel and the lobby's beautiful. It overlooks the property and you can see the sea in the background. Very open air and it has a really beautifully designed tropical feel to it. In addition, for COVID-19 precautions, they put up plexiglass around the check-in stand. So it does give you a nice safe feeling when talking to the person on the other side. We checked in really early and the hotel is not very full right now. So we were able to get our room early. The bar that's located inside the lobby was kind enough to make us some delicious juice beverages while we were waiting for the room keys. So it was a really nice experience. One thing that they did cover at check-in that's super cool about this area, inside this grouping of hotels in the complex of the Punta Cana Resort, we do have this amazing ecological park where they have natural pools and hikes and you can walk all throughout. We actually didn't have the opportunity to do it while we were here because we're only here for two days. We're actually working while we're down here as well. So it was kind of in and out. We're super excited to come back down here to check that out. Our third category is rooms. Rooms we rate four stars. We're in a premium room with an ocean view and due to COVID-19, they are trying not to accommodate people on the higher floor. So we are located on the first floor, which is typically not my preference because you do have a less of an ocean view than you would on a higher floor. However, these rooms are very nice. They're quite a bit more spacious than the traditional rooms. They have a walk-in closet, a much larger bathroom, and a beautiful king bed with a heavenly bed. I will say about the ground floor units as well, they do have a chaise lounge on the balcony, which other rooms on the higher floors do not because you naturally have a slightly larger patio area. 
Overall, your room is pretty nice. It's what you get with a standard Weston. So if you've stayed in a Weston before and that's why you're looking at this video, which chances are it is, it's a very comfortable bed. They've got a nice big closet, a big comfortable bathroom. I will say one thing that was interesting in the bathroom, I think the lighting could have been improved where the shower was. It feels like there might be some lighting that's missing. I don't know if that's just unique to our room, but it was definitely on the darker side. And as with all Westons, you get the heavenly bed, you get the white tea aloe products. It's all the same across most Westons around the world, and this one's no different. They do have some pretty cool decor that's in the room that does make it a little bit more unique. They've put some coral up on the wall, they've used a lot of blue accents, and that matches the blue accents that they put on the outside of the building. So that does tie it together back to some of the beachy feeling. Not quite the same thing as some of these corporate hotels where it does feel like if you draw the blinds, you could really be anywhere. They have brought some of that unique beach style here, and we do really appreciate that. Our fourth category is service. Service we rate three stars. As much as we'd love to give them five stars and as much as we've been pretty kind across the board during the COVID times, service has been on the more mediocre side, to be honest. Yeah, certainly the biggest issue in service that we found was with food and beverage. They are incredibly slow, not very well trained, and I think it really comes down to an issue with management. We're not sure whether there's been a lot of turnover for the Westin in particular during COVID-19, so we are giving a little bit of leeway there, but it is certainly something that we think in general this property needs to work on. Particularly when they're running at such a low occupancy, it should be something that, like some of the other hotels, which you can check right here in the upper corner, have had amazing service while we've been down here because there's so few people in the hotel. So that was something that was a little bit disappointing. Yeah, and we called the front desk to ask for a couple of items. They came so fast and we're really excited about that high level of service from the front desk particularly when you're calling or using the WhatsApp texting line. However, when it came to food and beverage, it just really went downhill very fast. The good news is you don't have to eat at the property. There are a number of restaurants within the complex, so it is possible that dinner service elsewhere is a bit better. Yeah, and we'll talk about it later in facilities, but you can also take out a bike for free, ride around the complex area, and go to some of those other restaurants at night. Housekeeping does come during your stay, even during COVID. They send you an email before arrival, which I really appreciate. It was very detailed. You can also request items in the room that are typically in the room outside of COVID, like a coffee machine and robes. And they do ask that you request those things uh, in advance so they can clean them and put them in your room before your stay. One of those things was requesting housekeeping. You can request it every day, every other day, but after four days they do require a housekeeper in the room. So keep that in mind if you're coming for a week and you prefer not to have anyone in the room. Our fifth category is dining. Dining we rate three and a half stars. The food was good for a West End hotel. It was fairly consistent. It just wasn't five stars. Yeah, and honestly, some of that came down to the same issues that we talked about in service. Uh, one of our meals in particular, the food was decently good, but it did come out cold. And so I think that that's one of those things that they just need to work on. It took a very long time to actually get the food. And so by the time we did get it, it wasn't great. Also, breakfast was okay. Um, there are certain things on the menu, but it is kind of a hit or miss type thing. One thing that does make the Westin pretty unique in terms of food and beverage is that it is one of the few resorts in the area that is not all inclusive. And so because of that, you do have the option though to eat wherever you'd like. There are other restaurants. You can hire a taxi to take you outside of the complex. You can also obviously rent a car. And there are a couple restaurants that are in walking distance, including down the beach at Playa Blanca, as well as at the golf course where they have a steak and seafood house. The prices are in line with the room rates at the West End. Cocktails are about $8. Appetizers range from $12 to $15. And entrees go for around $20 or so. However, the food I did not feel really matched the prices considering uh, the all-inclusives in the area have significantly better value. With that said, the cocktails were fabulous yes. and that is something that is definitely one of their strong suits. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities were a four and a half star. The Westin has everything and the complex really does have everything as well. There's a Six Senses Spa if you're familiar with that brand. They do have a spa inside the complex and the prices are actually very reasonable for that type of spa. They have a beautiful pool area, beach service where they serve you lunch and cocktails, and they really have everything you need for a great vacation. 
Yeah, and there's also a lot of cool, unique features of being in this area. Like we mentioned before, they have the ecological preserve where you're able to go on nature hikes and swim in the natural pools. They also have bikes, which you're able to take out. The bikes are free. And there's a lot of really nice things on this property. There's obviously also your standard nice things that you're gonna get at a West End. They have a nice gym. They have a beautiful big pool. And they also do have some water activities. The water activities are for a charge, so taking out a paddleboard costs about $25 an hour. So do keep that in mind if you're budgeting for your trip. If you are interested in windsurfing or kite surfing, this is actually an area that you can do it. Now the winds are far less consistent than other places in the Dominican, like Cabarete. But one unique thing about this area is you have perfectly flat, crystal blue water. So if you do have wind, which we didn't, it is an awesome place to be. And our final and seventh category is style. Style we rate three stars. It's a pretty standard Weston with some nice decor that they've added for the area that we're in but you're getting exactly what you would expect from a Westin hotel. Yeah, when we booked this hotel on our points, we knew exactly what we were getting into, and that's honestly one of the reasons that we did it. During COVID times, everything's a little bit uncertain, and so for us, we really liked the certainty of knowing that we were gonna have a beautiful, comfortable room with a nice, clean property and a beautiful beach and have that kind of standard Westin experience. I wish they put some cushions on the chairs and the restaurants and on the patio and the room. They are a little bit hard, but maybe that's something they do in regular times. Overall, we rate this property 3.9 stars. It's exactly what we needed and what we wanted for our quick getaway for these two days. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, we did book this on our Chase Sapphire Reserve points. So if you'd like to learn more about the Chase Sapphire Reserve, it is not sponsored. We do not work in any capacity with Chase or the Chase Sapphire Reserve, but as travel bloggers, it is one of our number one cards. And so in the link in the description below, we've added, we've added a couple articles specifically about that card and why we like it so much for travel, because there's really no other card that's gonna get you the same amount of points and the same amount of return on travel spend or to be able to use for travel as that card. And as we mentioned, we have our brand new COVID safety rating. It does not impact the hotel's overall score in fairness to the other hotels that we've worked with, but we do think it's so important to share with you our thoughts about their COVID process, how they protect guests and staff alike, and the changes that they've made across the board during these bizarre times. And we rate this hotel for COVID safety 4.5 stars. Yeah, which is honestly one of the highest ratings that we've given because they really have done a great job. Marriott has instituted, as we mentioned before, a lot of brand protocols across all of their different flagship brands where they're insisting that people wear masks on property. They've taken cleaning precautions. When you go to the restaurant, they're wiping down the tables. When you check in, they've got plexiglass. They insist that you have your mask on in public spaces. So they're really, really doing a good job of making sure that guests are following those, that employees are following those, and they've done a great job on, in very short notice of training the employees to be able to institute all of these new rules and regulations for COVID-19. There are only a few minor things that were inconsistent, but it just comes down to, I think, training around these brand new protocols across the hotel. But overall, they've done a really great job. They sanitize your luggage when you come in. There's clear entry and exit pathways so that guests don't run into each other. Um, and the hotel is at a very low occupancy. And if you're wondering, is that something that we're just saying because we're being nice? <laughs> we're not working with Marriott. We're not working with the Westin. We did book this on points. And we have also stayed at a couple of hotels down here, which one of which we stayed for less than a night. We actually checked in and checked immediately out because we were just too afraid to stay there. So we are coming from a place of understanding exactly what travelers are looking for during these trips. And if you're looking to travel during COVID-19, we do think that this is a very safe option. And while Marriott does require masks in public spaces, one thing we will please urge you to do is always wear a mask in public spaces regardless of the hotel that you choose on your trip. It is so important to keep the staff and other guests safe as well as protect yourself from others. All right, that wraps up our video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really means a lot. And of course, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, it's right there. Hit that subscribe button. It's not that hard. Look, it's like, it's just, it's right there. <laughs> And of course, check out our photos on Instagram from our entire trip from the Dominican Republic at Voyager Guru. Go check out our blog at voyagerguru.com. There we have full destination guides for the Dominican Republic, all of the written reviews of our hotels, and of course, links to all of the other things that we've been working on, all the places that we're traveling, and all of our upcoming plans. So as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Guru. See you out there.